anyway, so it took forever. Super had the Superman handle it and lay it down and get my longer socket wrench. But we are now removing the bolts, as you can see. I know this video is going to be long, long, like one of the longest ever. I'm sorry, because this is part three and it's super long. But this was kind of a little bit of work. I mean, you can do it. It's really not that bad. But after all of it, you got to go, hmm, maybe I'll just pay the $500 to have that ring replaced. Did you say $500 to replace an O-ring? Yes. That design. $500 for an O-ring. Okay. I did not know that I'd be killing myself today by getting into this, but I did know I needed to do it. But, you know, that's where it is. I'm going to keep going and remove this and be back. All right, I got all the bolts here. Okay. I'll go there. Gently lift this out. Hope I don't find the other surprises when I do. Oh no. Oh no. Guess what, guys? I'm definitely done for the night. Guess what? This has got to come off on the end. Can you see? This guy's got to come off right here. And this guy. I was trying to skip all that. Ain't going to happen. You got to remove everything because of this design. All I want to do is get this thing. This should have came right out. Boom. All right, everybody. So here we go. We got it open. Showed you. Another stuff that's come out. I had to pull that out. And I think I actually finally took it out. Yeah, that's right. Right here. This bad boy goes in here. <coughs> Squeeze me. That's what I'm doing. This one, yeah, it's right here. And he has to go in a certain way because of the tooth. I don't know which way that is, though. So. Yeah, there you go, see? And he goes there. So I pulled them all out. So we can remember where we were. And now I'm stuck. Okay. Now here's the problem. I pulled that. I broke these off. I need a breaker bar to get them out of there. And still not here. So what it is, this is all one piece. Okay. It's all connected. This here goes over to here. This is at least separate for the drive shaft, but it connects to here. Which connects to here off that pulley. Blah, blah, blah. Hydraulic fluid makes it spin. All right, and pulls all this as the parking brake, which we're trying to get off. Got that. So now we're going to take off right here. On the side, I'm guessing it's the half. What do I got? Three eighths right here? It's the three eighths, okay? So we're going to try to attempt to take these guys off. Let's see how difficult it is. It would be nice if it had a, a vise out here that was mounted I could do on here, but I don't. So I got that guy. And hold this down so both are broke free. Now what this does is connects into here and there's a little shaft in there too uh, that goes. But this is not going to get it off. I'm going to have to take all of this. So we're not going to loss. Every single piece is pretty much going to come out to get to an O-ring. Bad, bad design. It's bad that the O-ring is there at the very bottom of the system on a thing that goes like that all the time. But on top of that, this is where we're at. I'm going to pause a second while I do it. That's off. I'll take this guy and see he's got a little sleeve. And if you look at it, it looks like a, 
a die for uh, re-threading. Tap and die set. Okay, and then this guy is in the middle of them. Right like that. And it kind of bounces in and out, okay? So this is one of the seals right here on the side. Flip it up for you. I'm just oil it. One of those seals that I got is in there. Okay, so I'm going to have to pull that apart. Get this off. Uh, so, these are off. These are off. I got right up down here. This guy here is still in. Which is going to be a pain. I'm going to have to pull this flywheel. I'm making more of a mess with oil. Because, of course, there's oil under that cap. Even though I've drained the whole system, it's like, no. Nope, here's a lot more. All right, so what we're going to do is put this here like this. And I'm going to get up here with the, that guy. It's going to be a little larger. That's why I got three-fourths. I think I've gotten one of them out yet. And I'm just making a total mess. So I'm going to let you all know. This is for you all because... Next time I'm paying the money. I am not removing all this junk. It's just too much ridiculous. I need three force. Of course I can't find one when I need it. Okay. The problem is this is a Pulley, so I have to break this free while holding this. If you look, there's a wrench size, so I don't know what it's going to be. We're going to try three fourths since that's what size this is. Uh, let's see, seven eighths. We're going seven eighths. So uh, that was seven eighths. Fifteen sixteenths. Too big. Let's try the seven eighths. Is too small. Let's try the seven eighths. That seven eighths about fit. Another one. Fifteen sixteenths was huge on the first one. So that means it's millimeter. I don't have that many in my millimeters. Seventeen's gonna be too small. Nineteen's gonna be too small. So we're like twenty one. So we got that option. Now we can go this option. Press a wrench. Which is the best thing about a press a wrench is. You can make it any measurement you need. Okay. Okay, we're on. Alright, so. Pause this, y'all. You can probably watch for eight minutes there. All right, everybody. That's what did it for me. 18 inch breaker bar. It just is fighting me. So we're gonna pull this pulley off. Watching like how you doing that? This is my handy dandy rotating ratchet. Handy dandy. Okay, pausing again. We're not pausing, I'm sorry. Let's take that off. I'm gonna set this right here. Try to put all the parts with their part so I don't forget as we go. Pulley, of course, goes there. Here. Right with it. So we now have another snap ring. Okay, I'm hoping that these snap rings can get it because they're from above and they kind of pain in the butt because of it, but I'm pretty open in there. So here we go. Snap ring pliers. And that's how you do it. Gentle when you unhook, don't lose it. Okay, we got the snap ring off. Uh, 
the seal. I'm gonna mess with it for a minute. I'm gonna see which way it comes out. I'll be right back, okay? Did y'all see where I was working? Yeah, you could. That's where everything came off socket and then the snap ring. Because how this is, y'all, can you see? In here there's a seal I am gonna have to pull that seal which sucks um, I do have the seal here's the old new one so I'm gonna have to break them to get that out of there this sucks I'm gonna have to break the seal on the other side to get it out I didn't want to do this but if I don't these aren't coming out so I'm gonna wrap so I'll be back all right everybody once you get it you're gonna take the rubber mallet right here. Once you get the snap ring, see this? It's a little thing that protrudes right here. You rubber mallet it in, and as you can see, the seal comes right out. Um, I'm gonna replace it just because, you know what? I have them. Um, metal ring. We got a bearing here. So, I gotta get this guy all the way out now, so. I'm gonna get my tap, which is here somewhere. Is it on the ground still? Or did we put it away? I'm gonna take my tap and be careful. We're gonna put the tap right here. And we're just gonna see that. And as you can see, look. Hope you guys can see that video. This will be a little higher so you can see more. See it there? That comes right out as you tap, okay? So there's the whole shaft, okay? We have an underending mess here. So once that's out, we should be free of all of the last hurdles to get this guy out of here. Double checking. It's a pretty tight fit there. This guy here is connected, but there's nothing holding. This guy's here, I'm guessing. I'm gonna have to rubber mallet right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but here we go. There we go. And that's bringing that part up. Okay. See this arm? That's where we gotta be. Okay, Kristen? Hmm. I'm gonna need your help. Come here. Rubber mallet me. Gently. Gently. Oop, oop, oop. Gently. Keep going. Okay. One more. Okay. And as you can see, some of that is in the way again, RTV. Which makes a mess. We are almost out now. Mm-hmm. This is a total mess. So if you think about it and they tell you like 500 or something, just do it. Don't mess around. Hit it again, babe. Right under there. Unless you're like me and you have everything and you really want to be an idiot and wrestle. Let's go. Just go. Yep. Almost there. Y'all see this? Redonkulous. Okay. I gotta be real careful here. We should have bearings in here. Okay, and look, more oil. Roman free. Okay, so yes, be very careful. See the bearings? See the bearings? We don't have them. We do not have new ones of them. So, let's be very careful here. Again, like I said, this video is for y'all. And it's for me because I gotta know what I'm doing. We pause it. Oh, let me see something. Let me see. Yeah, pause it. We don't got much time left. 